Uh, mijn sport is uh, inline skaten. Ik noem het ook wel freestyle rollerblading. Uh, ja, dat is vrijwel echt stunts doen op straat. Over, over leuningen, over trappen, over muurtjes. Uh, van allerlei dingen. Uh, ik doe het op dit moment 19 jaar. Ik was 12 toen ik begon. Als inlandskamer moet je echt je grind, moet je echt onder de knie hebben. Omdat je, het is niet alleen dat je één grind kan doen. Je kan vanuit je grind kan je ook meerdere combo's maken natuurlijk. En dat kun je zo moeilijk maken als dat je zelf wil. Want je kan gewoon vooruit grinden en dan bijvoorbeeld een halve draai maken dat je naar achteruit verder gaat. Maar je kan bijvoorbeeld ook achteruit draaien en vanuit je trek een hele draai naar een andere trek een andere beleving. Dus ja, zo, zo is het, hoe moeilijk het kan maken. Het zijn, het zijn meerdere, maar laat ik het zo zeggen, uh, ik ben vrijwel echt een hele technische skater. Uh, dus echt draaien, dat, dat, dat vind ik geweldig. En ook om echt de meest onmogelijke combinaties eigenlijk te kunnen maken. Dat, dat, is, dat is denk ik wel, ja, dat is eigenlijk wat ik het beste in ben, laat ik het zo zeggen. The first time I ever met Edwin was at uh, the Slick Ledges, and he was actually staying with Jan Welch. Uh, and uh, some of my buddies from Boston were in town, and we had just finished watching Trash, which was one of uh, the videos that Edwin had a few clips in. One of which was at Point Loma, like Gap. TTS on, on like the, something no one ever is no one's ever done that shit. I know this was 2004. He spent a lot of time in San Diego with myself and Santiago's uh, first event when we were filming for Night Front Two Trash. And uh, I remember he used to always come in after session, being all stoked on doing a true spin top top solo or some crazy spin tricks on stunts spots. Like he just shredded it. Edwin from hell got his name because Jimmy is too retarded to remember his last name. No, I never knew his last name. I didn't fucking know who the fuck he I was. I still can't pronounce it. We were his editing actual last filth. name is from hell. <laughs> he had a badass true topsail down the fucking Euclid rail. And it was my job to put in the names of everyone, and I barely knew Edwin. I won't skate with him like twice. So it's Edwin, I don't know your last name. So I said Edwin from hell. That's fucking what happened. Edwin Wiering. Edwin from hell. Edje. Eddie. I don't know how many names he had, man. Uh, the guy was and is a legend. It's, it's something that's sadly but true that he had got his status legend because he had to die. When he hit the tourist with top porn star on that reel, I was feeling like, shit, what the fuck he done? It was the perfect longest reel I ever seen in my city. And he done it tourist with top porn star. And he was like holding it down till the end. And it was like so perfect, it was so fucking amazing. I, I enjoyed that shit. It was really good. Like what sessions do you guys remember that were the most iconic from like when you were filming Phil? Front Torque like RB. Yes. Front yeah, Torque was... RB. Are you freaking 
kidding me? I actually laughed when they. Yeah. I'm gonna front torque hard. No, when he said he was going to. That was old. Yeah, right That's on. a freaking joke happen. to me. <laughs> Anyways, that ledge, when he said he was gonna front torque that, I literally laughed in my head. Like, okay, cool. You think you're the freaking king of the world. And he did it. And I was shocked. You that know, was a shocking, yeah. shocking thing. Bottom line was, sure, come hang out with us. Don't Next let thing you know, Edwin is not just Edwin fucking, you know, Weeder. <laughs> Wait, yeah, what there's the fucking fuck Edwin from hell, and he's got a badass name, and he's doing badass shit. Fucking hell, dude. All it's my life I dude. has to fight, nigga. All it's my life I hard times like yeah. Bad trips like yeah, Nazareth. I'm fucked up, homie. You fucked up, but if God got us, then we gon' be alright. Right, nigga, we gon' be alright. Nigga, we gon' be alright. We gon' be alright. Do you hear me? Do you feel me? We gon' be alright. Nigga, we gon' be alright. Huh? We gon' be alright. Nigga, we gon' be alright. Do you hear me? Do you feel me? We gon' be alright. Uh. And when I wake up, I recognize you looking at me for the pay cut. But how much I be looking at you from the face down? Or make 11 even room with the face down. Scheming, and let me tell you about my life. Painkillers only put me in a twilight. With pretty pussy and Benjamin is the highlight. Now tell my mama I love her, but this what I like. Lord knows. 20 of them in my Chevy, tell them all to come and get me. Reaping everything I sow. So my karma come in heaven, no preliminary hearings on my record. I'm a motherfucking gangster in silence for the record. Uh. Tell the world I know it's too late. Boys and girls, I think I'm going crazy. Trying to set my face, it's all day Won't you please believe when I say When you know, we been hurt, been down before Nigga, when our pride was low Looking at the world like, where do we go? Nigga, and we hate poor poor When they kill us dead in the street for sure Nigga, I'm at the preacher's door My knees getting weak and my gun might blow But we gon' be alright all right, Nigga, all right. we gon' be alright Nigga, we gon' be alright We gon' be alright Do you hear me? Do you feel me? We gon' Wat ik echt wil bereiken nog, kijk, ik word natuurlijk, uh, dat klinkt heel dom, iets ouder. Maakt er niet uit, wat is je, je hoe jong of dat je jezelf voelt. Uh, maar ik denk dat mijn ultieme doel is om echt wat probleem met werken van kunnen maken. Dus ook misschien door middel van uh, workshops, uh, lessen, uh, ja, dat soort dingen. Edwin's legacy, well, he is probably gonna go in the books as one of the fucking best, not best Dutch skaters, that's out of the question, that's for sure, maybe best European, maybe one of the best, best athletes in the world, besides skating. Um, of course, we got Sven, Sven Broekhorst in Holland, everyone knows him, X Games, gold medals, whatever, but Ed, Edwin was just fucking on top of his game, didn't matter, doesn't matter if it was park or street, whatever. And with that smile and fucking positive attitude that he hold up every fucking day, it doesn't matter, it didn't matter what day it was. Those two things combined, just a great guy with great abilities. Uh, I probeer op dit moment nog steeds vijf dagen om te trainen. En in combinatie met werk gaat dat redelijk goed. Omdat ik, uh, ik werk zelf in de horeca. En ik begin eigenlijk gewoon iedere dag pas om vier uur uh, met werk. Dus dan kan ik altijd vol mijn werk aan, kan ik, uh, kan ik gewoon voor mezelf trainen. You know, when, when most of us come home, we want to chill, have a beer, and chill out for a bit, and then, well, skating uh, mostly, or never happened, or was a really lame session. Ed just came back, maybe had one cigarette, grabbed his skates, and fucking went for it. We didn't care, it was a shitty winter outside, you know, we, when there was an excuse, we, we took it, you know, ah, it's too windy, ah, expecting rain or whatever. 
He was like, fuck it, see you guys, I'm going skating. That was it. He didn't care. He didn't care what the forecast was, how hard he worked, how early he had to get up the next morning. He was just going for it. Every day, every fucking day. I mean, it's a work ethic. You gotta appreciate in a skating environment, in a professional environment, whatever. He just, he gets shit done, whatever he puts his mind to. Edmund, you always woke me up very early in the morning. He's standing next to my bed. He said, come on, Yui, let's skate, man, let's skate. And I was like, yeah, you just came back from a party, man, you serious? And then he was like, yeah, motivation, man, motivation. I was like, Yui, come on, we have to skate right now. In a couple of hours, I have to go to my work, you know? No. That's Edmund, you know? Truth can top so everywhere. <laughs> He's truth and top so master. Ik vind dus een beetje erbij, maar ik vind dus dan niet in de sportschool, maar echt hier thuis. Dat doe ik eigenlijk voor mijn eigen discipline. Uh, en omdat ik, uh, ik wil niet te breed worden. Ik wil het wel op een snel atletisch vermogen houden. Uh, en dat doe ik eigenlijk alleen met mijn armen en mijn borstkas om dat te trainen en buikspieren. Uh, het trainen van benen, dat doe ik eigenlijk door middel puur alleen van het skate. Dit is Britney. Dit is... Het is een USB-stick, die aangesloten zit. Het is waar, hij draait het echt. Dit is um, het buitenland, denk ik. Yeah, check, check. Yeah, one, two. Skepta, they got the locked in crew 07481 194 570. Yeah, so what, so what? So what? You think you're the best? You against me, that's a disrespect. Selling you the top boy, still I ain't heard a better mixtape than blacklisted yet. No playlist, no label home. Just a couple real niggas and an iPhone. Now everybody wanna talk business, and I'm like, thank you, but computer says no. This ain't back in the day. Won't catch me at no champagne spray. Last night, man, I got paid in cash. Gave half to my mama, said put that away. Grab two packs and it's back to the ends. Meridian Walk, North London again. Boy, better know we're getting money online. That's why your wife stays in my DMs. Go on then. Yeah. Hey, yo, skip, big up the 412. Yo, big up the 412. Big up the Tottenham crew. Yeah. 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 You know the C's. Don't believe what you're seeing on the TV channels, please. I won a mobile last year. So they ain't sent me in the war to put on the mantelpiece. But no doubt, the girls still wanna come to the house and get frisky. Cause I'm the only real nigger in Dixie flexing in the GQ top 50. Let me tell you why my ting's 30. I slept in my friend's spare room in New Jersey. Woke up early, trying to catch the worm in the big apple. Only had enough cash for a pink snap. And if I got thirsty, no Wi-Fi, it was a V-long journey. Walking 17 blocks to the radio, praying that somebody heard me. Now I'm on the 19th floor. I grab a towel and I put it by the door. You shouldn't be smoking in here by law, but right now, fam, I ain't hearing that. Open the window, puff, puff, pass me the split, man, I'm sharing that. And I'm trying to kill any MC that I clash, that's why I stay wearing black. Fuck a rematch, you know who won. Shout to my brothers in 0121. See the black and white poster with Tupac and Biggie on? Yeah, we started a new one. And I won't stop till my whole crew's on. If you don't want to ride out, then cruise on. Think I'm not serious, cause I never came in here with my shirt and my shoes on. But if I want it, it's mine. Mum knows when I put my life on the line. Trust me, it's all a matter of time before you see the top boy shine. Yeah, and if you want it, it's yours. Dad told me to put the bad vibes on pause. And trust me, that's the key for the door to become a top boy. Little more. I see. Yeah, big out the locked in crew. I think that as a skater, he had an ability to, to focus his energies and, and drive on anything that he, he wanted in his life. Ja, en uh, eigenlijk qua mindset waar ik op train is eigenlijk een bepaalde focus training. Uh, qua focus training bedoel ik dat je uh, als je makkelijke trucs doet, dan ligt je focus eigenlijk als het ware laag. Want dat heb je eigenlijk al tienduizend keer gedaan. Ga je een moeilijke truc doen, ligt je focus hoog. Maar op de uh, makkelijke dingen maak je eigenlijk de meeste fouten. Want je wordt daar laconiek in. Nou, waar ik dus op train is om alles in één niveau te hebben. En dat heb ik eigenlijk de afgelopen 2,5 jaar getraind. En wat je dan merkt is dat alles wat je eigenlijk wil, 
dat kan je dan ook. Ah, ja. En je gaat geen fouten meer maken. Omdat je een continue ja, focus mindset hebt. Ik heb op dit moment nog nul gebroken in 19 jaar. Niks? Niks. Hoe doe je dat? Ja. Ja, ik weet niet. Ik denk altijd bewust zijn van wat je doet. Kijk, uh, in, in, in mijn hele skaterrijer heb ik ook altijd eigenlijk bijna fulltime gewerkt. En uh, ja, ik ben altijd gewoon heel bewust geweest van ja, breek ik mijn been, dan zou het in principe mijn baan kunnen kosten. En plus, weet je, als ik me echt ergens niet goed voel, dat ik wel die trick eigenlijk wil doen, maar het voelt net niet 100%, dan doe ik het niet. Dan heb ik precies, ik kom de volgende dag of een andere dag ik terug, ga ik het dan doen. En dan weet ik zeker dat het dan wel lukt. Ik denk dat dat, ja, dat ook een bepaalde mind state, dat je gewoon ja, bewust bent. I was lucky enough to spend some time with him a couple years back at Winter Clash and I was looking forward to our next encounter, um, which now is going to be in the next life. Um, I miss you brother, love you. Until next time we see each other, take care. Everybody that knows Edwin knew that he was an amazing skater, a great person, had the funniest laugh ever, contagious, uh, at least so. And you know, that was one of my good drinking buddies when I heard the news, I was shocked. What are you going to miss most about Edwin? His laugh, definitely the laugh. Like, when he was telling something funny or someone else was telling something funny, he just started laughing with this crazy laugh that it stays in your mind. Like, you keep hearing it like all day once he did it. That's just Edwin. Now we got another angel in the sky watching us, uh, you know, and you know we gotta live on. And Edwin lives on through the memory that he gave to everybody and how passionate he was about skating and his friends and his family and his loved ones. So with all that being said, Edwin, you'll be missed. Peace, my brother. I know you're watching down from the sky. I'll see you when I get there to the big skate park up there. And uh, everybody just keep your head up. What well, really, I don't know, touched me, how you want to call it, after his death, his brother, I believe, posted uh, this message that uh, Edwin was a donor and I believe he eventually helped three people with his organs to, well, basically get a second chance at life, you know? And I never really thought about, well, of course I thought about, you know, being a donor, it's a whole issue in Holland, how you gotta register that and whatnot. But at, after, after reading that story, Man, I, I went straight to my computer and fucking filled in the form to be a donor as well because it never came this close, you know, a personal with a friend that when even such a tragic event, huh, someone dying so young, could also uh, mean something so beautiful for other people's lives, you know. If one life is lost, doesn't mean it's over. Man, he, he fucking helped three, three, three people. Giving a, getting a second chance at life, and I thought that was beautiful. I still can't believe it, man. And yeah, I know that you're not here with us right now, but uh, yeah, I know that you're up there watching us, gave us inspiration, and yeah, with your huge smile, like you know, trying to send us positive vibes, good energy, and. Uh, yeah, man, even if you're not here in person, I know that you're here in our hearts, to all of us, in all of the hearts of all the bladers in the whole world, man. I miss you, buddy. I really miss you. Edwin was... He was a friend. Sorry about getting serious about this shit, but... Yeah, we need sorry about it. That's actually real. You know, Edwin, he was not only my friend. He's not only our friend, but he was everybody's friend. On uh, 20 September 2015, I uh, arrived at his house around 1900 and yeah, I was early, drinking a beer with him, drinking some wine 
and uh, we had a talk and he was playing with Marty and that was like a fun moment. So I said like, okay, try to pose. And so I took a picture with him and Marty and that turned out to be uh, the last good picture I got from him. And um, yeah, this is still the picture I will keep in my heart because you can see the, the loving Edwin with the cap with the A. Edwin was and Edwin is part of our family. Part of our family. Part of CT. Part of everything that we know. And part of everything that we will remember from this point on. You don't have to remorse his death, how he died, or anything else. Everyone banged hot rods or big titties. And that's the end of it. You big ass ledges. Hey, Rock. Fuck you. What did you do when you died? The bottom. Not what everyone did. Uh, it is not that you're not too old for being. That's not. I'm now 31, for this year 32. Look, and. Door middel van de trainer wat je doet, blijf je natuurlijk gewoon jong. Mijn lichaam voelt wel aan of ik nog steeds 23 ben. Dus ik weet dat ik er gewoon jaren mee kan. Maar ja, weet je, het leven gaat verder. En in die zin word je wel ouder. This is the film I never wanted to make. You know, it's such a big contrast. Seeing as how much fun we always had getting clips, filming stuff, then editing it. Making a new profile for him. And right now, you know, I'm just trying to keep it together, trying to edit all this stuff together. Eddie was stacking up to present a VOD to you guys. Sadly, he won't be around to, uh, to see the fruits of his labor. But I did my best, you know, to, to try and make something worthy of Ed skating. You know, the guy he was on blades, but also off blades. You know, he was loved by so many, hated by none, even though he was from hell. So yeah, Eddie, this profile, this last VOD, this is for you. I love you, man. I see you, uh, see you in the next life. Every blue moon to separate myself from you kings of the YouTube. I am more you too. I am like Bono with the edge. In Mexico, fuck Donald and his pledge. Legend has it, the wrist is magic. The left is paddock for leaps replaced by Matsuhisa. Ignore most requests of the feature. Unless it's getting played on the beach in Ibiza. Why she fucking Nisha and she sucking Shisha. Can't you see my total? Pam Kima Keisha. I'm aiming for the moguls. Why y'all niggas aiming at the locals? And rap niggas broke like them, they mere hopeful. Still wishing on a star, the last one to find out the baby on the cars. The final trilogy of Jaws, the grills like interior gauze. It feels like steel white, matching my Sony, looks African on me. They trying to pin this trafficking on me like man on Tony. My thoughts spilling over, the soft ceilings open. I cross fist the coca. Yeah, it's a different calisthenics when I do the Linux. Half a million parallel, then ain't nothing rented. Yeah. Wearing dry fit in my shit. He rides a little better in the cockpit. Untouchable, uncrushable. Run it in a 600. Run it in a 600. Untouchable, uncrushable. Run it in a 600. Run it in a 600. Moo told me to switch styles. He just came home from the feds like a mistrial. He tells me I miss out on all that club money. I don't bounce. Adidas gave me a million and that don't bounce. President of good music has been announced. A quarter million a year, and that don't bounce. I'm in the score of these movies, I'm losing count. Moo, you knew me from 1300 and ounce. My breakdown game brought me eight mile fame. Selling MMs to him and them. 
White to the blacks, I'm a villain in The Rolls Royce playing peekaboo with the emblem Let's talk about it, gentlemen My barcode is Netflix Narcos Part on the side of my fro like I'm Pablo No hablo, I sell blow Lone wolf, no tanto, head honcho Yeah, let's take the scenic route I can show you the strange fruit It's looking like Beirut They open the wash bay I climb it like K2 These kilos are drought killers I flooded the Jesus I made use of every Spanish name I done ran across No matter what the weight I done ran it off I'm walking on water I took the sandals off Tell A&E to turn the cameras off Push Uncrushable, uncrushable Running in a 600 Running in a 600 in a 600, running in a 600. 600. 600. Oh. Boom! Hell yeah. Some of us have been the kingdom to power. Some of us have been in jail to power. Some of us have demons, some of us have demons, some of us have angel kingdom for power, some of us have angel power for power, some of us have demons, 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 some of us have dem